Good afternoon. We're here at Springfield Lakes for race six of the DF65 Queensland Interclub Championships. Conditions are looking great at the moment for a start. What's important here is to have a look at 4-3 as she works her way up the bay. Tacking in symmetry with the, lit, the shifts, the headers and the lifts. As she gets headed just then, she tacks relatively quickly and cleanly, moving and climbing up that ladder pretty quickly. 5-2 follows suit as they make their way up towards the top mark. So um, conditions are quite variable at the moment with the breeze shifting around about 10 to 15 degrees. And um, dropping in in uh, strength uh, as, as we speak. You can see there 5.2 has moved ahead, but that will be short-lived as 4.3 is moving quickly up the bay. Four is a boat sailed by John Daly from Paradise. Extremely good sailor. Following through is 9.54, 5.72 and 5.2, followed by 95 and 5.14. Interesting to see how people respond to this, um, these conditions, these changing conditions. There is a shift which is coming, or a, a breeze pattern which is coming down on the right hand side of the course. The majority of the fleet is sailing to the right hand gate. So, um, interestingly, as we sail down here, 514 has taken a position of sailing to the left hand gate, the non favoured gate, to benefit significantly. And um, pick up around about 20 boat lengths from her 10th place at the moment to first place. Going down to the bottom mark. See, 514 has gone across to the left-hand gate, whereas 43 and 52 has gone to the right-hand gate. A little bit of a puff there and a breeze, assisting the fleet. But um, you can't out of out of shot at the moment. It's 514 has taken off on a big shift which has benefited her significantly. She leads the fleet up the second lap. As the breeze starts to reduce in strength. Every tack costs you time, probably around about a boat and a half length in these sort of conditions, so it's important to make those tacks when you're either, when you're headed. You can see there's a breeze on the right-hand side of the course. Left-hand boats have got a picked up a, a puff now, left-hand side of the course, and they're all working up to the top mark. With 514 in the front, followed by 43, 572, and 
unfortunately, um, 514 has made an error uh, going around the mark the wrong way, and she has to have to come back, and unfortunately has picked up a boat on her way back, and uh, that's taken her from first place to around 10th. With the rest of the fleet coming through. In first place we have 43, second place 572, third place 52. Going down to the bottom mark and the finish. This is race number six of an eight race series. Unfortunately the, uh, the heavens opened in the afternoon and uh, as a result racing was terminated. We have seven videos of today's racing. Trust you enjoy them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And they're coming up to the finish here as we speak. Well sailing, good sailing by 43. Uh, there's a very close finish coming up here at the moment between 4.3 and 5.72, neck and neck. Interesting, you'll see a 43 duck, 5.72, and then jump for the finish line, which she does, and she just takes it by half boat length. Well done, 43. Photo of 43 follows. And we have one more video of the racing to follow. Look forward to seeing you on the water. That's it for me. Bye for now.